The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team update for you guys today. We have new Team of the Week players. They are doing Team of the Week this year for the playoffs, which is nice. And we only have Elites this week, so that's definitely an upgrade as well from what we've had throughout the regular season. We've got a bunch of new players that are added in the game today that are all pretty damn good looking. But the big one, the big dog, is that Antonio Brown right there on your screen. Now this Antonio Brown, we're gonna take a closer look at it. This is definitely one of the better wide receivers in the game right now. 95 overall, ladies and gentlemen, a beast of a wide receiver. Take a look at this card and the attributes. You see it on your screen right there, 95 overall. It is a limited edition card, only impacts for a limited amount of time. So if you are interested in this Antonio Brown, you're gonna wanna go on here, rip some packs right now, or just buy them off the auction house because that's probably the best way to honestly do it. This card is going right now. Let's see here. Cheapest price on this thing. Uh, 715000 right now on the PlayStation 4. I've seen it go for around 700000 but that was only once or twice. So I, I think this is probably the price that's going to be at around for today at least. And of course, it will drop throughout the week as they normally do. Uh, but again, let's take a look at these attributes on this card. 92 speed, 92 spectacular catch, 93 catching, 95 route running. Basically, guys, this is a plus one upgrade from the 93 overall that he had, uh, you know, a few weeks back. Um, now, this is pretty common this year, unfortunately. You know, for better or for worse, I guess. It's basically, we've been referring to this as the plus one treatment. EA basically gives this card plus one for the majority of the decent attributes that it had, or the ones that are important anyway. And what it ends up doing is it boosts its overall one or two. Um, but the problem is that the attributes that you see, they don't really change that much. So you're not getting a substantially better Antonio Brown in this card than the 93 overall that you had before. So that's just my personal opinion on it. One thing that this card does have a plus two in, and I think it's the only thing other than like stamina that it has a, an, a more than one upgrade in. Uh, an injury maybe or something like that so you know relatively irrelevant things uh but this card does have plus two for acceleration from what the previous one had so that is something to keep in mind but overall i still think it's probably not worth 600 extra thousand coins or 550 or whatever it is to upgrade from the 93 to the 95 right now but if you pull him absolutely i mean definitely try him out see what you think and then sell him because uh i don't like i said i, I think i would go with the 93 unless you just are rolling with an all amazing squad or something like that in which case screw it go with it you know but um Antonio Brown is not the only team of the week card in this year, or this week. Uh, there are also some other really nice ones. And guys, by the way, we are going to do a pack opening video in today's uh, video. But let's take a look at these sets. I, I just want to go through these real quickly here. Um, you're going to want to go over to team of the week. And you're going to see, obviously, the wild card round. And the cards that you see here are a Randall Cobb 93 overall, which is pretty nice. It's not the best wide receiver in the game or anything, but definitely a nice upgrade. Uh, and then you're also going to see the Lawrence Timmons, which is also a 93 overall at middle linebacker. And this is, again, a pretty nice card as well. Um, I don't like this one as much based on the stats that it has, the attributes that it has for usering, but it's definitely one if you don't use your middle linebacker, this is a card you don't have to think about, and that's always a good thing. If you're somebody who uses a safety or uh, a defensive lineman or a different linebacker on most plays, I think this is a good one to add to your team, so definitely look into it, but um, this card is definitely a good one, like I said. Now, in order to get Lawrence Timmons and Randall Cobb, you're going to have to complete sets, which include these four cards here. You've got Thomas Rawls, Cliff Avril, Devontae Adams, and Jake Ryan. So two Green Bay Packers. You know, it is what it is. I mean, those guys probably deserve it. And uh, two Seattle Seahawks as well. So uh, kind of interesting that none of the Texans, not even Jadavion Clowney, got a uh, Team of the Week card. I was a little bit surprised by that. I kind of think he deserved one. But, I mean... I don't know. It's hard to say. I think it's kind of disrespectful given the fact that, yeah, the Texans are probably not going to win in this next game against the Patriots. So I think it would be nice to get an upgraded Jadavion Clowney, but they're probably waiting to do like campus heroes and draft cards and BS like that with Jadavion Clowney. So we'll probably get an upgrade of him coming up here in the coming weeks. But uh, anyway, guys, those are the cards for the set. So hopefully you guys will pull those out of packs now. 
They do have new packs in the game today as well. These are the first time I believe that these have been in. Yeah, they are. They're obviously their playoff team of the week packs. So I, well, I shouldn't say that. I'm pretty sure these are the first times that they've been in the game. I don't think they had them last week and included week 17 in them. But uh, either way, these are packs that you're definitely going to want to take a look at. 70,000 coins each. They do contain two team of the week players. Now, unfortunately, they can be from any week from throughout the season. So chances are you're not going to get one of the elites from this week. But uh, they do also contain one NFL playoff player as well. So that's a little bit of an upgrade. And then also uh, 10 additional team and player items. So, you know, you can get some good stuff out of this, but chances are you're probably not going to. So uh, we are going to open up all four of the ones that we can open up with coins here today, though, guys. And that's going to bring me down to right around 500,000 coins, uh, a little bit below that, I guess. So we're going to try and do it today, man. We're going to see if we can get either the uh, Antonio Brown or any of the other elite cards that were in packs today. So with that said, let's open these biatches up and let's see if we can get anything going. All right. First one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. All right. We start off with a Devondre Campbell. Let's see here. Hello, Dinata. Come on. David Andrews. Nothing there. All right. Garbage, 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 garbage. We just need some elites. All right, so this is one of our uh, team of the weeks here. Nikel Roby Coleman. I don't even know what week this is from. This has got to be, yeah, this is week five. I was going to say way early in the season when the Bills were actually doing well. Uh, so unfortunately not anything great there. Let's get some elite, man. Damn it. We get our team of the week there, our Marcus Golden. And this one again. Oh, this one's from week 17, I guess. Uh, but still, not really much value there, unfortunately. A Ryan Shazier. Ryan Shazier looked like a beast this past week, by the way. Running around before the game. Looking like a freaking monster out there in the cold. Uh, but all right, let's continue on. Let's open up three more of these Team of the Week packs. I mean, we really got to pull an Elite in order for these to even be remotely close to being worth it. Um, you gotta, you pretty much almost have to pull the Antonio Brown and boom, right there, baby. We get the elite is the first card in the pack. Devonte Adams. Nice pull there. Definitely happy about that. 89 overall, 90 speed, 93 spectacular catch, 86 catching. Yeah. I mean, this is definitely a nice pull for us. This will certainly help us with uh, paying back the cost of these coins, if nothing else. So definitely happy to pull that. And we get another elite here. Who is it? It is a Golden Tate playoff card. Let's go, baby. 91 overall back-to-back -back elites. Let's go. Very, very nice. Another wide receiver. Nice to have this one. This is actually the first time I think I've really looked at this card. So um, definitely nice. Yeah, happy about that. 91 overall wide receiver and 89 overall wide receiver. Let's see if we got any more elites in this pack. Probably not. I mean, let's be completely honest here. Got a little spoiled there with two elites to start off. Get a Kenyan Drake there. What is that from? That's from way early in the season, too. Alex Collins, all right. How the hell did Alex Collins get an 84 overall? Hold on a second. What What are we doing? Like, <laughs> how do we get here? Don't get me wrong. Alex Collins has had some games where he looked decent, but, like, 84 overall. Sheesh, he's done, like, almost nothing throughout the year. And uh, there you go. So not much out of the rest of the pack. But boom, those first two cards, definitely nice to see. We got one of the elite team of the week players. So definitely happy about that. That's probably going to be our best pack. But we'll continue on, man. Maybe, maybe we got some fire in packs today. We pulled that Chad Ochocinco a few weeks back. And, you know, I haven't really tested my pack luck a whole lot since then. Maybe I, maybe they took the boot off my account for once, you know. Uh, for a while, I swore. I swore up and down that I had like some sort of freaking glitch on my account where like I couldn't pull anything good. I mean, it wasn't even just bad luck. Like it was horrendous luck as we get our back-to-back -back team of the week players there. John Kuhn, uh, Nolan Carroll, nah, nothing really spectacular out of those. So this is probably going to be a dud of a pack, unfortunately. But yeah, I mean, at least we've gotten a couple of decent pulls out of this one. Final pack of today's video, guys. If you are enjoying today's pack opening video, if you learned anything, be sure to drop a like on it. Even if what you learned is don't open up Team of the Week packs with coins, be sure to drop a like on the video. All right, guys, let's go. Let's see if we can get in the lead out of this one. If we get our Tim Hightower Team of the Week there, come on. Jonathan Joseph, come on, elites, please. I just need like one more elite to be happy. One more elite from this week. Come on, let's go. Elite. And it's an Amari Cooper team of the week. I will take that at least. It's only an 86 overall. But it's from and it's from all the way back in week five. But hey, I will still take it. It's an elite pull. 
I mean, Team of the Week Elite pulls are not all that common, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Demetrius Harris there. And the final card of the pack opening video, a Christian Westerman. So, that is going to do it, guys, for this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like on the video. Make sure that you guys subscribe as well. We're going to be bringing you guys all kinds of Madden content here in the coming days and weeks. So, thank you guys for all the support, and I will talk to you guys again soon.